ladies happy may and welcome back to another monthly reset video make sure you guys have your laptops your notebooks your ipads your pen and pencil and paper whatever you prefer get a nice iced chai or coffee or tea or wine or water or whatever you prefer gather all your things and let's just get started with this monthly reset video all right can you guys believe that we are halfway through the year this is the fifth month like it seems just like yesterday it was january we celebrated new year's and i was like oh my god jane is gonna be graduating in five months and now we are literally two weeks away from graduation can you guys believe it she's going to the prom we'll get all into that in this video but you know how we do it so the way the video works for my reset is that we reflect on the previous month and then we look at the goals for the new month and then we end the video with my favorites for the month. So if that's something you guys want to watch, then obviously keep on watching. So as you know, I like to use Notion in order to keep up with all of my monthly goals and kind of track where I am in each of those areas. So I will be looking at my phone, but you make sure you pull out whatever you're using, uh, spreadsheets, just pen and paper, digital planner, wherever you keep your goals. Make sure you guys are doing this along with me so that we can all stay on track of the goals that we want to achieve each month and making sure that we are actually achieving those goals and if not, how we can do better each and every month until we reach where we want to be so i'm not gonna spill on and on and on about it so let's go ahead and get my screen recording going all right so here is what my notion monthly goals page look like it's just super simple and i have everything like collapsed i can open up each section i do um section off my goals into two different versions there's my personal goals and then there's my business goals and like i said then we look what we're looking forward to the month end of the reflection and our favorites so let's just start with the finances so pay down debt by 250 dollars. i did do that i did get an extension on my taxes i just didn't feel like doing it save as much money as possible now i did not achieve this goal i actually spent not a lot of money in april but I just started a renovation project, so basically savings just went out the window, so we did not achieve that goal at all, but I'm okay about it. Just just wait for it. It will, it will be worth it in the end, but I didn't save as much money as possible, so we didn't do that. And then when it came to family and friends, I literally did not have anything under here. I know I talked about last month, I wanted to think about all the things that I wanted to achieve when it comes to friends and family. And I did talk to my therapist about it, but I still haven't really dove deep into it. I did have some conversations with some of my friends um, this last month, even though it was scary, it wasn't as a big a deal as I made it out to be. Everybody was really understanding and um, receptive on the, the things that I want from my friendships, but I don't necessarily ask for. So I asked a lot of people, a lot of my friends, things that I've wanted that I've been too scared to ask them to do. And they was all like, okay. And so it was like me more hyping up myself and thinking that um, past experiences and traumas and stuff make me think that people don't value what I ask for. Um, and it really was all an illusion. And then my therapist told me, I told you so. I was like, don't say it. She's like, well, I ain't gonna say it, but you already said it. So she was like, so what you gonna do now? I said, I'm still gonna be scared, but I'm gonna try to be a little bit more brave um, when it comes to that. But we didn't have anything. And then from home, I wanted to get a quote for my bathroom. I did not because I'm taking on the porch and the deck um, renovation this summer. I'm just gonna hold off on the bathroom quote until a little bit later in the year. Hopefully I can have it done. Maybe that's my Christmas present to myself. I don't know yet. We'll just see where this all lands, what my money is looking like. You know, I'm going to Rome and all that kind of stuff. So we may not be able to budget uh, the bathroom this year, but it's definitely gonna be on the top of my list next year if we don't make it this year. I did switch over um, my master closet and uh, spring and summer uh, clothes and I switched over my master bedroom for spring and summer as well. We did not plan the garden. I kind of told you guys in my wish list video why we didn't plan the garden and what I'm 
thinking bigger than I have been thinking before. So therefore it's gonna be like put off for this year. But I'm hoping next year along with maybe my master bathroom, if I can't get it done this year, there'll be a thing together, but we shall see. All right, so moving on to travel. I really didn't have anything. I've been thinking about my mini trip or my solo trip or whatever I wanna call it uh, this quarter. I'm thinking I have an idea where I wanna go, but I kinda need to talk to my girlfriend and kinda figure out what we're gonna do with that. So we will see. Um, and then for personal, go on two dates. I did not go on any dates. Uh, if you guys watch my vlogs, you know, the last guy who I was super excited about and he was really receptive, seemed really nice, flaked on me. He literally flaked on me, never, he said he was gonna ask me out for a date. He did ask me to go out one day and then he never returned a text message, a call or anything. So that was the end of that. Um, so I didn't go on a date um, or two. Look, I ain't even going on one. <laughs> and then the next one was to book a massage and book an appointment for next month. I didn't do that. So hopefully this month I'll be able to do it. And then to manage my time better. I did get a little bit better, but I still think I kind of failed on it. So we're just going to say that was a no. So personal, I was trying zero, 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 three and oh. <laughs> on that so those are my personal goals for the month of april so let's move on to my business goals so for youtube post three videos a week while i didn't post three videos a week i did get a majority of my videos out but we're still not going to check it off i did not book two collabs and i did not get to 3k subscribers i got to 2.6 so it was close but i didn't quite get to um 3k so that's three and zero as well and i'm doing real well this month now i am i didn't do really well in april um and then i already told you guys what i was looking for in the month of april longer days relaxing a little bit more possibly going on another date and then Jalen's prom if you guys saw Jalen's prom y'all already know what it was like i don't even gotta say nothing but my, my girl was absolutely stunning you hear me stunning hands down so that's what i was looking for and so in the month we're flexible so my most memorable moment highlight of the month of course was right Jalen's prom like prom night was everything i think she had an amazing time i love watching her get ready helping her with her dress having the family over and just seeing her be so excited and her makeup was beautiful her dress was um fantastic even though we had a little bit of hiccup with it but everything was beautiful and um it was everything i think she dreamed for and i dreamed for as well and i think it re really really well this is what i learned in april is doing business with friends is not always the best i have been getting some renovations done at home and i actually know the guy and I'm kind of feeling kind of like, you know, because we know each other, you can do things that you wouldn't do with people that you don't know, if you know what I mean. And so it's kind of like a double-edged sword. And so I'm feeling like I wanted to use him because he has a construction company to do other things in my house, but I think we're just not gonna go there. I think we're just gonna find somebody I don't know, pay them the money and expect them to do the job because I'm just like, over it at this point but i will tell the whole story another time when everything is done and said now i don't the quality of the work is amazing it's the other items that just ain't really meshing well with me but like i said we'll discuss it another time and then i want to improve more taking more time off and not getting burnt out so this last week of april i actually didn't record anything i didn't um edit any videos nothing i was so tired that whole last week of april that i literally just couldn't i couldn't do nothing i didn't record anything i didn't want to record anything i didn't feel like it i slept most of the time like i was so tired it's like i had been running the whole month of april with no rest whatsoever and may is kind of turning into the same thing so i feel like i'm gonna be super tired when it comes to like towards the end of May, beginning of June, but I'm going to try to get prepared and do as much as I can so I won't get as burnt out and I maybe can plan ahead a little bit. But yeah, it wasn't, you know, April wasn't fun. <laughs> By the time I got to the end of the month, I was, I was over it. I was over it and everything. So that's why y'all didn't get any videos <laughs> at the end of last week of April. I apologize, but sometimes, you know, you just gotta stop and take care of yourself and then show up for the other people a little bit later. So I'm showing up for you guys today and know that I've started back recording, but I needed that little week. So I hope you guys didn't mind, but you know, we're back on track now. 
Um, and that's all for the month of April. Overall, it was a really good month. I didn't meet all of my goals, but I met a majority of them and I am okay with that. So let's go ahead and move on to my May goals. So May is going to be an exciting month, you guys. We have a lot going on in May and um, I am so looking forward to everything that's going to happen. So let's get into our May goals and kind of see what we're trying to achieve in the month of May and can we get it done? Um, Cause I, baby, I be, I be putting goals in. I be trying to set my goals higher just to make myself and push myself more to, to complete these goals. So for personal goals, of course, pay debt by down by $250. I'm always trying to pay down debt. That's just one of my number one goals, as I've said before, and then save $250 into my emergency fund. I know last month I didn't put nothing on my emergency fund because I thought I wouldn't be able to put any money towards it, but I actually was able to. So we actually did put $250 in our emergency fund last month as well. I will say that we have not put any money in my 100 envelope challenge <laughs> since uh, March. Um, I'm hoping to catch up sometime this summer so for this quarter i'm supposed to fill 15 envelopes so hopefully by the end of the quarter i can fill 15 envelopes i'm trying to do five every month just to make sure i stay on track so let's see if we can maybe um do half and half so maybe a little bit more in march and some more in june but we'll just have to see i don't i don't know if we're gonna make it because i'm doing big things with renovation right now it might just be a sacrifice that i have to make but we will see um, and then moving on to family and friends. Um, so I want to throw a Jalen a graduation party and I want to throw my mom a birthday party all combined together. Memorial Day weekend. Jalen graduates on May the 17th and my mom's birthday is on May the 27th. So I'm trying to have them a party on May the 25th at my house. But that all determines on if this construction is finished or not. I mean, I probably can still have it even finished, but I would like for it to be finished so that people have places to sit and we are all in the house and it's not looking all discombobulated. So we'll just see how they go. If not, I might just ask my aunt, can we have it over her house or do something at her house? But we'll see. She might have something going on in her own life. Who knows? But I'll ask her. So that's kind of what I'm striving for, but we'll see how that goes. And then from my home, so like I said, we're doing renovation. That video will be up this coming week. You'll see the start and all of the progress that has been made so far, but I'm hoping my decks are done by time um, the 25th comes. I'm hoping that they'll be done in this next week and before Jaden's graduation to give me time to decorate it and get it furnished in order to have this party. So that is my goal for my home, but of course it's dependent on somebody else. So let us pray that part. Um, and then for travel, I need to determine where I'm going on my mini trip. I have one more month left, which means my mini trip most likely will be in June because I got too much going on in the month of May to do anything else. So I'm trying to see where we're going in June. I don't know where we're going yet, but we're going somewhere. And then for personal, still want to go on two dates. Don't know if it's going to happen or not. I actually have two prospects on my little app that reached out to me. I need to reach back out and see how this is gonna go. And then the book my massage, my brow appointment, I didn't do it last month, so I need to make sure I do it this month. And then take more random days off. Like I need to just start taking off random days. I was talking to my therapist and I have like 300 y'all, 372 hours of PTO. You know, how, you know how much time that is? That's a lot of time. Like I probably take off a whole month. So. I need to take more random days off, more time off. And she was talking about, she was like, well, Kiosh, have you even taken, I have literally taken off 40 hours. No, 80 hours. Yeah, 80 hours this year. And I still have 372 hours left. So I need to be trying to, you know, get that together. So I want to take more random days. I know one month last year, I literally took off every Friday that month. And maybe in the month of May, we'll take off every Friday. Because I was off this last Friday because of just situation going on around the house and all the things. And so maybe these next couple Fridays, I'll just be off and it just be what it be. So that might be some random days for me. Um, just to have them, them long weekends. I love me a good long weekend. Um, so those are my personal goals for the month of May. So let's go ahead and move on to my business goals. 
Um, so for my business goals, I want to post 11 videos. I noticed that I said I want to post three videos a week and some months are shorter than others. So I'm counting the days in the month um, to say how many I want to post. So now I'm just going to do a number versus how many a week. So 11 videos. Um, I put a week, but y'all know what I mean, a month. <laughs> And then to book two collabs and then to get to 2.8 subscribers. I'm trying to gain 500 subscribers a month, but that doesn't seem like what my average is. My average is like 100 and something. So I'm trying to get it up to like gaining 200 subscribers every single month to kind of help me reach my goal. So I'm hoping that I can make it to 2.8 subscribers at by the end of the month of May. All right, so let's move on to what are we looking forward to in the month of May? Jalen's last play. Jalen is in the drama club and they put on a play last year. If he was here, they did SpongeBob the Musical and they did such an amazing job. I was so surprised. It was so good. And then this year they're doing Adam's Family um, Musical. Um, and I can't wait to see it. I know she's going to be amazing and uh, I'll make sure I record it, you guys and get some clips so you guys can see. And then of course, Jalen's graduation, the top of the top, the creme de la creme of the month is seeing my baby girl get her diploma and walk across that stage and become a full blown adult. Okay, 18 to graduated to college. We are here for it. And then to finish my deck area, I am looking forward to all of this construction being done and over in my home back in order by the end of month of May. So that is what I'm looking forward to. All right, so those are all of my goals and what I'm looking forward to in the month of May. So let's go ahead and move on to y'all favorite part, the favorites. Let's go. All right, so let's move on to the favorites, you guys. I had so many favorites in the month of April. It was kind of hard to narrow it down, but I think I've got it. Um, of course, my top favorite is back into iced chai latte season. Man, I forgot how good these are. And now that I know how to make them myself at home, I'm saving a lot of money not going to Starbucks. Like seriously, I still love the Starbucks iced chai. You know, they got me all into the groove of iced chais and stuff, but baby, with that brown sugar syrup i ain't gonna never not have an ice chai with that these are so good let me know what's your favorite ice drink during the summer is it like lemonade iced tea chai coffee iced coffee whatever it is let me know down below um so let's move on to uh, my category so i add a new category of wardrobe and like which includes like fashion and all that kind of stuff. So I just call it wardrobe, but I'm, I've added that category because I've been talking a lot about, you know, trying to curate my closet and uh, filling gaps and stuff. And so as I fill stuff in and I start to have favorites, I want you guys to be able to see what it is. And so one thing I forgot to put on the list is my watch, my Amazon watch. Y'all know I've been loving this Amazon watch. It's a dupe for the Casio. I showed you guys in my wish list um, what I wanted, the original Casio that I wanted. It's not that expensive, it's like $100, but I just didn't know if I was going to wear it. Y'all have a watch. I ain't worn my Apple Watch since. I have not worn my Apple Watch since. I love this watch so much. I wear it all the time. It's so timeless and classic, which is definitely my style. And I told you guys, I stopped wearing my Apple Watch because I don't want to get all them notifications. I don't want all them beeping and all that other shit. I don't want I know you can turn it on silent, but it still vibrates and do all the things. And I didn't want to be bothered with all that. So I am loving this one um, from Amazon. I'll link everything down below that I'm talking about so that you guys can check it out if you want to. And then my next favorite is the Oscar de la Renta Bella Rose perfume. You guys know me and Jaden went to JCPenney and we spent up some money. And I smelled that perfume and I was like, I had to have it. It smells so good. And then I got a good deal on it. It's I think the bottle is regular like a hundred and fifty dollars i don't know something like that and then i got the set it was on sale at macy's for 69 dollars. i ended up paying 73 so i got the full bottle i got a travel size and i got a lotion 
for like $70 when the set at, uh, that was at Macy's, at JCPenney, was $116 for the set. Um, if you saw my little vlog, I bought it at JCPenney first, but they would not price match, so I returned it, and I ordered it from Macy's, had free shipping, and I paid cheaper. I only had to wait a couple of more days to use it, so I wasn't even mad at all. So that's been my favorite. And then if you guys saw my wish list, you guys know I've been looking for some black sandals. I saw some at Target and they were sold out and me and Alicia happened to go out to dinner and we stopped by Target in DSW and DSW had some um, black sandals. I picked them up. They, was on, they were $49.99, so right along the price that I wanted to pay and they're by a company called, I think, Mix 6 or something like that. I'll make sure I put everything. You'll see pictures and stuff. And so I've been wearing them. They're really, really comfortable and I really like them in there. The vibe that I was going for. All right, so next moving on to home. I only really have one thing for home. I'm loving how my bedroom looks for the spring and summer season. I love how the white bedding and pillows have elevated the look and the cleanliness of my room and when it's all tidy and clean and my bed is made up it just looks like a beautiful bedroom and i love it it's so serene so chill and laid back and cooling i feel like white is a cooling color it's very hot in the summertime and so it just makes me feel like at ease and like i am cool and not so hot because it just be so hot outside <laughs> alabama it just seems like to bring the temperature of my body down when i see that cool white crisp bedding oh, i just love it and so i've been loving my um bedding setup for spring and summer All right for them for shows and movies so i don't know if you guys remember there was a show that was out called Heroes. It's from years ago. I can't remember what year it's from. I'll put it down here what year it came out. But I happened to see the other day on um, Prime Video and they had it for free. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen that in a long time. I've been watching nonstop, y'all. I've been watching doing marathons. Um, and I forgot how good it was. And I don't remember if I ever watched it all the way to the ending. I feel like I don't remember what the ending was. And so I've been watching it. I think I'm on season two. Because the episodes are really, really long. They're like 40 minutes, which means it was like an hour in real time. Because there's no commercials, of course, when you're watching it on the app. Um, but I think it was like an hour in real time. So it's been the long going. And the first season had like 23 episodes. So I don't watch like almost 23 hours of TV. Because um, I'm on season two. Um, and I think I'm only on episode number two. But I've been watching that like in my spare time. Or whenever I'm chilling in my room. And it just don't have nothing to do and I just don't want to like read or do any housework or I just want a chill moment I'll watch a show for like 40 minutes and then I'll move on to something else but I've really been enjoying that show lately I don't know what I'm gonna watch when I finish it give me some suggestions down below and I'll check them out and then for music I've been loving my new edition album that my mom bought me she found me an album you guys know I love vinyl I love new edition I love music in general and she found me a new edition album I think it's the heartbreak album if I'm not mistaken and she found it it's signed too you guys i don't know if it's signed like they signed it with pen or if it's signed like they you know how they'll sign it and then they just make photocopies of it i don't know it's just every member signed it this is the one with johnny gill where bobby brown isn't in the group anymore um so it's johnny gill and all the other original people who was in the group that's signed and I love it you guys it's so good I've been listening to it non-stop and just been working and cleaning up and just have it playing and it's just amazing y'all know how much I love music I just love me some good albums y'all I want to find Jodeci albums on vinyl like Forever My Lady um Diary of a Mad Band oh, I would love to find them on vinyl I need to look them up and see if they are um you know they don't make everything on vinyl but I'm a vinyl girl I love it so that's the music I've been loving lately and last but not not Lee. I have started a new book series. Now you guys know I am more of a thriller, mystery, suspense type girl, but every now and then I will dive into some type of fantasy type situation. And so there's a book that's been going around that everybody's been talking about. I've seen it everywhere and I had it on my list to, you know, try it out, listen to it and see how it goes. And we was talking at work with some of my coworkers and they was talking about, I was like, I heard about that. I was like, I've been wanted to put it on my list they like girl you need to start it it was like start i said well, what's it about she's like it's like game of thrones meets 50 shades of gray and so 
I picked it up from my local library and been listening to an Audible. The first book was so good, you guys. It was so good. I had a lot going on, so I wasn't able to listen to it as much as I wanted to. But y'all, it was so good. I literally just sent, finished the first book yesterday and I've already started the second book. Like, I don't know how much better it's gonna get. I hope it doesn't be disappointing because the first book was just so good. I gave it five stars, but uh, I don't know how the second book is. Let me know if you guys read it. It's The Court, oh, did I tell you the name of the book? I'm sorry, it's The Court of Thrown and, Thrown and Roses is what it's called and I'm reading the second book of it now. Um, so let me know if you guys read that series and if you like it or not. I don't know if that's everybody's stilo or whatever, but I liked it, I enjoyed it, and I thought it was really, really good. So that is the last of my favorites. Let me know down below some of your favorites for the month of April, anything you want me to check out, shows, books, items, wardrobe, whatever that you're loving. Let me know down below in the comments and we'll have a conversation about it. All right, you guys, so that is the end of I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you turn that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos from me. And I will see you guys on Wednesday for a new vlog. Bye.